Welcome back to our channel, Explained, where we discuss one interesting topic a day. In today's video we will talk about conspiracy theories and the psychology behind why people believe them. Firstly, let's define what a conspiracy theory is. It's a belief that a group of people or organizations are working together secretly to achieve a specific goal or outcome. Conspiracy theories are often based on limited evidence or unfounded assumptions, and they can range from the plausible to the downright absurd. So, why do people believe in conspiracy theories? One of the main reasons is the need for control. In a world that can be unpredictable and chaotic, conspiracy theories provide a sense of understanding and control over complex events. They offer a way to make sense of things that seem random or inexplicable. Another reason is confirmation bias. People tend to seek out information that confirms their pre-existing beliefs and ignore information that contradicts them. Conspiracy theories often provide a simple explanation for complex events, which can be more appealing than accepting a more nuanced, complex reality. For example, let's take the widely popular QAnon conspiracy theory. Followers of QAnon believe that there is a secret cabal of elite individuals who control the world and are engaged in nefarious activities such as child trafficking and satanic rituals. The theory provides a simplistic, black and white explanation for complex issues and presents a clear enemy to fight against. Additionally, people may be more likely to believe in conspiracy theories when they feel like they are part of a marginalized group or when they feel like their beliefs are being suppressed. This can create a sense of identity and community around the belief in the conspiracy theory. Now, how can we respond when confronted with conspiracy theories? Firstly, it's important to approach the conversation with empathy and respect. Attacking or ridiculing someone's beliefs will only make them defensive and less open to considering alternative viewpoints. Instead, try to focus on building trust and establishing common ground. Acknowledge their concerns and validate their feelings, but also encourage critical thinking and evidence-based reasoning. It's important to provide credible sources and to challenge assumptions gently. For example, when discussing the Flat Earth Theory, you could present evidence such as photographs of the Earth from space or satellite imagery. You could also explain the scientific principles behind gravity and how it would be impossible for the Earth to be flat. In summary, conspiracy theories can be enticing and appealing to people for various reasons, including the need for control and confirmation bias. However, it's essential to approach these conversations with empathy and respect while encouraging critical thinking and evidence-based reasoning. Remember, changing someone's beliefs takes time and patience, but it's worth it for the sake of the truth. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of the psychology of conspiracy theories. If you found this content useful, please like and subscribe for more thought-provoking discussions in the future.